I have to point out, there's an interesting thing here, is that um, we make a big deal about Point Break, which is one of my mm -hmm. favourite action films, and I don't mean that in an ironic sense. Like, even though it's there's a lot of unintentional hilarity in Point Break, I do genuinely love it. Now, what's interesting is that the, the DP on um, Shaun of the Dead, David Dunlap, was the camera operator on Raising Arizona. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've really got like an obsession with chases through gardens. Yeah. It's one of my favourite things in film, be it Ferris Bueller's Day Off, be it Raising Arizona, be it Point Break. Mm -hmm. And um, and we did a little bit of it in Sean, we did a bit more of it in this, you, they already had the fence jumping already. But what was funny was that like, I showed David Dunlap, the camera from Raising Arizona, the Point Break chase as mm -hmm. a reference. And he kind of watched it very dismissively. And I think the Point Break foot chase is brilliantly directed. Some of the best yeah. kind of camera operation in action. Right. Actually, you know, not only that, can I just point out one, one little tiny thing? Mm. That was actually even good in the script. What, say? Wait, that was even good in the script. Ah. If you read the script for Point Break, you put it down, great chase in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. But what's funny is that, like, um, what's funny, so, and he watched, he watched kind of the Point Break chase and was quite dismissive of it. He goes, ah, oh, that's just a rip off of Raising Arizona. Now, that might be true in terms of... It, what's what's funny is I like them as companion pieces because, like, Raising Arizona is the funny version of the chase yeah, and yeah. Point Break is the serious one. What I didn't realise until I saw it quite recently is both of them are harking back to straight time. Yeah. Because Raising Arizona is the funny version of the chase in straight time. Yes, right it is. Right down to the Doberman. Uh, yes. Right uh -huh. down to the cop jumping over the, the fence. Uh -huh. It's all in there. And mm -hmm. in fact, Point Break, it even has the same... You know, like one of your kind of drivers of the same, Gary Busey. Although yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary Busey has disappeared in straight time, and that's the whole point of the chase. Right, exactly, exactly. But yeah. I, when I was watching, being a huge Raising Arizona fan, and Raising Arizona is my is my favorite film of all time. It just, it's. I never knew that till just a second. I, I, I just, it's just one of those films that just it it touched me in mm -hmm. a certain way when I watched it, and I kind of just know it off by heart. When I watched Straight Time, I was thinking, not just down to M. Emmett Walsh. Oh like, yeah. But also just the kind of the tone of it, thinking this is like obviously a big inspiration on Raising Arizona. You know, I never thought about that until now, and actually now that you're saying it, actually Max Dembo could be high. Absolutely, it's the wild comic version. The guy tr desperately trying to stay, you know, stay straight. <laughs> Even the look is the same. All he wants is the love of a good woman. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. All he wants is to kind of find a good job. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, it, it didn't really strike me, and, and, and maybe because M. M. Walsh was in it. But once it got to the chase. Um, you know, the sort of the back garden chase. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, this is another good garden chase to add to my collection. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, I also had to take issue with kind of like sort of, um, you know, kind of like, I was thinking about it afterwards when David Dunlap was very dismissive of the Point Break chase. I was thinking, Ferris Bueller's Day Off has a chase through back gardens, and that's the same year as Raising Arizona. Yeah. So they, they can't claim all the credit for the back garden chases. All right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's some other good ones that's a good back. Oh, um, Narc has a good back garden chase. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah, sort of happening. Ten minutes of Narc has some good back I, I, I chasing. I have to say, I, I'm not. I, I never, I, I never thought of it per se as back garden chase genre. There uh, isn't really a genre. It's just, uh, no, it's no, just no, you've made it one scene. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've made it one. Um, to me, it was always just the idea that like they go off the beaten track and through houses and over fences yeah, and, yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, but it's uh, another obscure one to throw in. No, not, not necessarily mm -hmm. a. a not necessarily even the best scene in that film, but Police Academy has like a back garden chase. Really? When is what's the guy from um, Fridays? Bruce Mahler, is it? Who's oh the yeah, guy? yeah, 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 Bruce Mahler. His wife, when he's kind of trying to get to work, mm -hmm. she's trying to. Mm -hmm. I think she's he's left his case behind or something, mm -hmm. and she takes a shortcut through the gardens and she dives over all the fences. Okay, you know what? I'm going to be the people <laughs> in the control booth, and I'm going to actually pull the plug now that we're actually going to Police Academy. <laughs> I don't mind talking about, I got a few more Brannigan stories I could use, but I am going to use a little bit of taste going on here, and we're moving off of Police Academy. 